There are pirates from across the world on hand here at Melee Island competing in the Circus Speedrun Challenge where the winner will receive their very own Serpent's Lie sales. As always, I'm your host, John Bardcore, and let's quickly review what this challenge entails. First, all challengers must ring the starting bell. Then as fast as they can, they must climb the ladder, run and jump across the bridge, reach the second bell, leap to the third bell, hop and zip line down the rope before climbing into the cannon, through the rings and into the waters of sweet, sweet victory. Here's the kicker. Each pirate only gets one shot at the speed run. If they fail, they are out. First up is Greenish Beard. Now it takes a brave, brave pirate to be the first to compete in this challenge, so he deserves some kudos for that. And for a while, Greenish held his own, hopping across that rickety bridge at a nice pace. Unfortunately, he forgot to ring the second bell before jumping to the third, and thus was disqualified. Next up, we have Glossy Glue. Glossy Glue here is wearing his blessing of Athena's fortune, but will the Pirate Lord's support be enough to carry Glossy through the challenge? He's managed to cross the bridge and is setting a nice pace. Remember, safety here may be the name of the game because every contestant only gets one shot. And there you have it, a completed run coming in at 21 seconds. Well done, Glossy. Up for the challenge now is Showiest Mouse. With a time of 21 seconds to beat, it'll now be up to each challenger to decide if they want to try to risk going at a faster pace to beat that time or stay steady and hope for the best. One of the biggest factors in timeliness comes down to how quickly can you pivot your character to jump between the platforms as well as getting them into the cannon. As we can see here, Mouse was able to clear the challenge, but unfortunately unable to beat the time. Good effort though. Time for a double feature. Here we have Lord Mocked on the left and McBjorn Hog on the right. Each of these pirates has had time to practice for the challenge in their own respective servers. But in this case, practice didn't make perfect and both players were out. Up next, so long as no one eats him, is Umburger YT, who recently won a set of Serpent's Lie sales on a John Bardcore livestream that you can check out every Saturday over at youtube.com slash at John Bardcore. That's right, we're live every Saturday right here on YouTube. Visit the live section of the channel for previous streams. Back to the action, we can see that Umburger almost missed his zipline grab, but had a nice recovery and managed to complete the course. He did not, however, take the lead. This next group of contestants though really showed their stuff. Let's start with Nameless Mike, who told me beforehand that he had felt pretty confident that he could break the current score of 21 seconds and that all he wished for in a future update was Hunter's Call Emissary Voyages. So Merrick, you've got yourself a true believer right here. And Mike was not lying. He was able to shave a few seconds off here and there to come away with a new score to beat of 18.73. Not to be outdone, next we had Death, who it turned out was not hard of hearing at all. He had been present during Mike's run, but was also confident that we would see a new score leader by the end of his. I noticed that both Def and Mike got a running start of the bell, and that might have led to them both performing well, as I really couldn't tell much of a difference elsewise between them. In the end, Def squeaked out the lead with a score of 18.65, two new leaders in a row. Last from this group was Wit Only, whose only goal was to complete the course, or so she said, but maybe that was to lower expectations and surprise the viewers, because she sure surprised me. It was seemingly effortless for her to race across the bridge, hitting each of the bells and landing each platform with precision. By the time she climbed into the cannon and fired, I knew we had a new leader, but didn't know by how much. Turns out it was 17.26, a full second faster. This was now a competition. Another double header on the left, Nexus Gaming V1, and on the right, Hoggers. Both of them had decent starts climbing up the ladders and getting across the rickety bridge. Hoggers was tripped up by the standing platforms after the second bell, while Nexus missed the zipline grab that would have led to the cannon. Better luck next time, contestants. Up next, we had Pupplemare, another previous winner of the Serpent's Lie sales and a YouTube member of the Bardcore Banana Brigade. Click on the join button for more information on how you can also become a member and earn your Bardcore Banana Badge. Pupple decided to go for a more steady pace and did manage to successfully complete the course. However, it was nowhere near the time needed in order to overtake the 17 second score on the leaderboard. Players would have to start playing more aggressive. 
our next contestant, Esnans, knew this to be the case as well. They quickly scrambled up the ladder and planned on cutting a few seconds of their time through the running of the bridge. However, a poorly timed lag spike put an end to those plans, and Esnans was disqualified. Next up was Mac2862, who sure did love his grog. And for someone who said it was only the third time running the course, he sure could have fooled me. Save for a bit of delay after running across the bridge when he was at the second bell, Mac certainly proved himself to be the capable opponent. He beat Pufflemare's time handily, but was also unable to strike at Wit Only's 17.26 score. We were starting to run out of pirates. Our next contestant was Bean Bean, a mod for the Bardcore Discord, who had run from his work to his computer in the last available hour to participate in this course. Unfortunately, Meme immediately fell through the bridge and was out. Sorry, Meme. Error 10145 was our next competitor and made the same running start that some top performers like Nameless Mike and Def had done earlier. He managed to make it across the bridge rather easily and touched the second bell, but the platforms to the third bell proved to be his downfall was out. Spooky Jackaboy might be a familiar name to some Bardcore fans, as he was featured previously on one of our Build Talk podcast episodes focusing on PvPers. Spooky is also based across the world from me, so he was waking up at an abysmal 5 a.m. in the morning to take part in this challenge. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to function at 5 a.m., let alone compete in a speedrun challenge. Spooky managed to post a sub-20 score, which was top 5, but not enough to take out the leader. Strathor 2015 was up now, and maybe his Ash and Curse would help light his way. While this challenge was underway, I had a Discord channel active where all the participants could discuss what had happened in their respective runs, whether good or bad. I'm not sure if this ended up helping out the later contestants by giving them tips or hindering them by having them overthink. It didn't seem to hurt Strathor, who managed to complete the course, but no dice on the lead. One last double header, got Lynx on the left and T-Man on the right. I would say that these two participants had another case of bad luck but Lynx fell through the bridge almost immediately, while T-Man missed the second platform at the end of the bridge at last. We were down to our final two contestants. Current leader Wit Only was invited back in to watch the last runs as well. One of these three players would be getting the sales. Up first, Cat Lord. He had a very good start, managing to make his way across the bridge with relative ease and hit that second bell. Once again though, the platforms proved to be the issue for him as it was for many contestants previously, and he was out. That left one. Another follower of the Pirate Lord, Seatek was here showing off his ghost curse with pride. This was the final contestant. Either he would be able to pull off a stunner at the last second and knock out our leader, or Wit only would be walking away with the Serpent's Lie sails. Seatek certainly knew the proper route to take as he managed to make his way across each obstacle through the rings of fire, and he's finished. But who's the winner? It's Wit Only! Seatek was unable to overtake the leader, and Wit Only has come away with the Servant's Lie sales. And I want to thank Cat Lord and Seatek for being good enough sports to help celebrate Wit Only's win with some emotes while I did my best with the confetti. Now I know that there are pirates out there with better scores, so feel free to post your best times in the comments. And until next time, this is John Bardcore signing out, saying so long and take care.